All right, here at Michigan uh, Wrestling RTC practice just got over. I'm with uh, John Simmons now. You're going by John instead of Andy. I guess. Uh, Andy Simmons getting ready for the uh, the World Trials this weekend. Andy, you're 34. Decided to make a comeback after a little bit of a break. How long were you off there? Uh, about six years. So you decided to come back. What what sparked uh, what sparked the comeback? You know, I don't know. I've, I've always been a guy that uh, you know, that likes to work out and is passionate about the sport. And um, the tra- you know, I just uh, I've been training a lot here the last summer and just finally, you know, thought I'd step into it. You know, I come to practice and work out all the time with guys like Logan Masson, you know, uh, Contelio, and now and just banging heads with these guys. So I figured, hey, you know, I might as well step. Why not in. compete? All right. Uh, compete. All right. Um, so you came back for the Bill Farrell uh, a little little over a couple, couple months ago, I think. Um, you know, you kind of turned some heads, I think. I think people uh, were surprised. You know, you kind of came out of nowhere, had some big wins, and then you followed that up with a solid showing at the U.S. Open. What's your, you know, how is your confidence level, I guess? Has it changed, you know, over the last, has it kind of confirmed that you're, you're still in it, you know, the last couple months? Yeah, I mean, to, to be honest with you, I would. To, to be honest with you, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't have showed up at the, at the first tournament if I didn't think I was going to have a chance to, to not only uh, you know do well, but but to win. My focus is on winning. You know, I was disappointed. I came away with a third place finish. You know, people would say that's good, but uh, I, I really wanted to win that tournament. And the same thing with the Open. You know, I qualified for the trial, so I'm moving on. I get a chance to, to, to compete to try and uh, to make the world team, but but again, I got to improve on that performance and. Uh, and really show these guys, you know, what I'm made of. So, what's what's changed? You know, ten years, ten years removed. You know, ten years ago, you were right out of college, doing the same type of, you know, living the same kind of lifestyle, trying to train and compete. And now, you know, ten years later, what's changed for you? And what's changed, kind of, maybe in the the nature of wrestling over the last ten years? Well, I I, I think my approach is is a little bit different. I mean, the main thing is, you know, I was able to, you know, get away from the sport a little bit, change my perspective, heal my body up, you know. You know, you're always going to get dinged up wrestling, but to, to really be healthy and, and to make a good training block and a good push, uh, that's, that's really helped me. And my, like I say, my whole focus has changed. You know, uh, a lot of guys, you know, when they're, when they're younger, they're going through the motions, or they're going to practice, even though they're working hard and they're, you know, they're, they're in practice. Sometimes you get into this, uh, you kind of get into a habit of, you know, oh man, I'm going to practice. So, you know, I'm just kind of seizing the opportunity right now. I know I don't have a lot of time as I'm getting older. Um, and I'm just trying to make the most of it, and I'm just trying to, you know, be positive every day. You know, focus on all the positive things, and just and focus on getting better. You know, and helping me and, and helping the rest of the guys in the room succeed at their goals. You know, we spend a lot of time doing this, and uh, you know, we take it seriously. And you know, I want to win, and these guys want to win, and it's uh, it's fun. You know, you're healthy, ready to go. I am. All right. Well, good luck this weekend. Uh, we'll be uh, we'll be following you. Thanks, bud.